Hello my lovely Gemini, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to do a reading for upcoming week, which is September 12th through to 18th. Gemini, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind, this is not one-on-one -on -one reading. This is a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. So take the messages that resonate with you and drop the rest. And thank you so much for being here. I do really appreciate your likes and comments and, of course, shares and subscriptions. That helps me and my channel grow and to get this message out to more people. Right, Gemini, the nice it is out of weight. What is coming in for you this week? Three of Wands, lovers, yourself, the star. The star has come up for a lot of signs lately. Uh -huh, five of Wands. And we have Eight of Pentacles and the Devil at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Straight away, what is coming? Whew, I don't like this saying, but this saying is coming straight to my mind. Devil's in is in the details. And I wouldn't say this is a negative. Well, well, for some of you guys, it could be that maybe you're working too much and there is balance needed, right? Work-life balance. Maybe even the family is affected. Maybe your health is even affected, you know? Maybe the work itself is kind of you're married to work. Is that the case, Gemini? I don't know. It seems like it. Because maybe you are obsessed with something at work. Um... I don't think that could be probably person, but it kind of feels that either you're obsessed with the money that you can make or trying to, you maybe are trying to make ends meet as well. But with Eight of Pentacles, this is more that you have achieved, that you can do. It's your status. It's your being, right? And because Eight of Pentacles in general is this very, very good, good, good card for hardworking person that is going places. However... There could be some obsession either with status at work. Maybe you're trying to level up quickly. Maybe you're trying even to do it at any cost. And you know what happens with that, Gemini. That can cost you a lot of friends. That can cost you a lot of uh, your reputation. If you're stepping over someone's heads, um, well, as they say, just remember, as many heads you step on on the way up, you will meet on the way down. Just say, just say. Obsession is never a good thing. And if this is something turning into a habit, then maybe something to need to be looked at. Because as well, we have the star. And even though it's a wish come true, in the star card, we have out with old, in with the new. And it is talking about the balance. The balance with your life, in your life, with work and money and everything that is connected with one another. However... I can see why you are actually kind of a little bit obsessed in ways. I just sounded very American, just as I said. Uh, but anyways, um, three ones and five ones we have here. And I kind of feel you have a bit of a pressure, big time. And pressure is there is some competition happening. And there is some, someone staring things up. And you can see that. It might not be... It could be quite obvious, but it could be as well behind your back as well, right? And maybe you are trying so hard to get what is promised to you because you know it. you are next in line to get the promotion or you are, you whatever it is, you are next in line to receive it. But th someone is trying to sabotage that. Three ones, however, is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's talking about looking at the future, looking at not just the short term, but medium term, long term. Where are you heading? What is your situation bringing to you? It's kind of like, in a way, it's a contemplating, but it's as well strategy planning. It sounds big words, I know. But it is, you're kind of like looking, okay, what this is, what this situation, what or what's this new change is going to bring for me? You're very calculative in at this point, and it's good. It is good that, because... You therefore, then you know why you are in in ways of sacrificing sacrificing your time, your energy, and your all efforts. I like to see you here because it kind of cements that you are kind of in charge. You are in kind of charge of this, 
and it's not just um life just took over and kind of you got rolled into um never ending cycle of doom and gloom and 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 you got obsessed or you got just trying to make money makes make why i can't speak today something's trying to stop me from saying what i want to say and i'm just tapped the devil you are in charge of this situation as long as you know that the hours you put in the effort you put in is for a reason and one that is reached you will have a time for yourself you will balance yourself because all these seven stars means your chakras your body your mind and spirit it needs a kind of there is more where it comes from this the abundance is ever flowing it's a wish come true right but it is well it's not just you know what we say sometimes with a wish and being lucky what you do with the luck okay what you do with the lucky break are you running with it are you just messing about and i feel that you are really on to this thing and no one or nothing is going to stop you okay here we are the lover's card and it's interesting the devil has this kind of similar kind of wings i'm not comparing devil and archangel raphael but i'm saying sometimes these things can be healed and need healed and as long as you are in charge and you understand why you're putting this much effort in and it is temporarily because this can't go on forever you are after big big win you're after big fish big 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 prize right just keep in mind that your relationships do not suffer because of it okay right gemini let's dive in else what we can find out for you if this resonates or you find something usable of this press the like button and that would get this video out to more gemini's yep this is coming out believe in the impossible the star do not say settle for second best 100 percent 100 percent gemini and do you know what even though the devil can scare the socks out of a lot of people, a lot of Geminis and other signs, you are very in charge and you are actually working towards kind of impossible outcome probable. So expect miraculous um, situations, happy hearing. All right. Try to take time to breathe out. Right. So what that means is, even you are in a turmoil at the moment, even if you are um, so engrossed into whatever you're doing, do have a good night's sleep. The car just dropped out. Do have a good night's sleep. Oh, wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune, Gemini. And you know what? Even though we have the three arcanas here, major arcanas, which very often is signifies there is some out of your control changes happening or influences. You are, with, with, especially with the Eight of Pentacles and now with this Wheel of Fortune from Angel Cards Symbolisms, it is really kind of you are making your own luck. You are making it happen. You are not just putting your hand out and waiting for the monies to come in or offers to come in. You are really grafting your socks off and hat off for that. Hats off for that. This one is jumping out. You are putting your seeds down for something, something new. And you are work, You are doing this. No one else. You are really, really surprising me at the moment. Hey, you have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. It's very interesting because animals give us the unconditional love. As well, it could be a sign. Watch out for bird feathers or butterflies or birds of season. Anything like that can give you actually sign. And you can ask for advice. You can ask for a sign. And you might be surprised how much nature can assist you in when you're searching for... <laughs> When you're searching for um, advice, new romance is imminent, either with newcomer or through rain and passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Um, definitely, that was something to do with the lover's card as well. That's keep in mind that you, if you do have a relationship, do not leave it um, on its own, right? Do not 
kind of sabotage what you got already and maybe communicate clearly and ex explain to the person your significant significant other that why are you at what is your goal and how long it might take so they would be on your side okay you are ready oh i feel like there is big crazy things happening for you here we go on yes 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 that's a gemini <laughs> Wow, that is crazy. What a busy, 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 busy week you got. Alrighty, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you look after yourself. Be mindful of communication. Communicate clearly with your significant, significant other. So they are on board as well where you at. Okay, and really good luck on whatever you're doing. Thumbs up. I have full faith in you. Alrighty, thanks so much for being here. And I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da.